Now when they get off with the performance, this device had that Qualcomm Snapdragon 625 chipset inside of it, an octa-core CPU, an Adreno 506 GPU, and 3GB of RAM on the base model, and then 4GB of RAM on the top tier model. Now in this specific case as well, I mean this is another case in point where I'd probably tell you that this phone's performance is actually not that bad. You know, it's still actually a pretty decent performing device. Now there's two different things I want to say with that being said. One. It's an older phone, so I'm comparing it to those phones that came out the same year. And two, because of this phone and the way it looks and the screen, a lot of things that I would end up normally doing on a phone like this end up being a little strange. And what I mean by that is if I'm playing a certain game or if I'm doing a certain thing on this device and let's say I have to put it in landscape mode or even if I'm keeping it regular in portrait mode, there are issues when I'm using this specific device. If, if I'm trying to use a specific app that maybe has to take up the whole entire screen, it's okay this phone can actually take up you know it's not like the blackberry passport with the you know square screen this thing handles those type of apps fine but sometimes it does get in the way the keyboard or the nav bar buttons just because i'm trying to do something on the screen and i can't really do it that well because the screen is almost like half the size of the phone itself and that does kind of become a problem you know to be completely honest but the whole entire ui because like i said it's stock android it looks pretty good it handles everything perfectly fine for the most part if you start doing more intensive you know heavier intensive games obviously you're going to run into problems the other big thing here is that a lot of apps may start to become unsupported on these older versions of Android, so that's another pretty big thing to keep in mind. But I think for a majority of things you're going to do on this phone, you're probably going to get an okay experience in this day and age, you know, comparatively to other devices that came out in 2017. When I look at the Galaxy S8, the Note 8, even like the iPhone 10, those phones hold up much better. The iPhone 10 holds up the best out of 2017 phones for sure. But I think this device, for the most part, gets the job done. And I wouldn't necessarily say it's a great performing phone, but I think it's an okay performing phone for a 2017 phone in 2021. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers that up. It's a Thank you.